Hey guys, hi, this is Prakriti Raghuvanshi and today I will tell you how to make label in Open Office. Let's start making the label with the help of a sample question. Open, open Open Office Writer and prepare the label for the school to invite parents for annual function. We will make the label for this topic. So first of all, we will select the database. Selecting the database will open database wizard. We will click on the next and then finish. It will open the save as dialog box. We will type the file name or uh, the file name is already given the new database 8. We will save it. After saving it will open a document like this. Now we will click on create table. It has field name, field type and description. So after opening this, we will type the field name and the field type as I have done. So serial number is the number. So we will take the field type as number. First name and the last name would be text and the contact number will be again a number. So we will take the serial number as the primary key. Primary key is a unique value. Since the serial number will be unique for every, uh, year, every information, we will take serial key as the primary key. After doing this, we will save it. It will be saved with the table name 1 by default or you can uh, type any other name if you want. We will click on OK. Now as you can see the table 1 has been created. We will click on table 1 and the field are here. We will type the, all the information. We will type the information like this. I have uh, typed only 3 but you can type more as you wish. After saving this table, you will go to directly to the file, new and text document. It will open a text document like this. Now we will go again to the file, new and label. It will open a dialog box like this. You will go to the label option here. Since my database number is 8, I will select database 8. The table is 1 and the fields. And the fields in the table 1 that I typed are these. So first we will take the serial number and uh, we will put it here. Since I want serial number uh, in uh, uh, first line then again the first name and the last name in the second line. So we will press enter key. Then we will select the first name, then the last name. Since I want them uh, in the same line, I have not pressed the enter key. Then we will press enter key, then the contact. So here is all the fields that I want in my table. You on in the label, sorry. Uh, you can take it. Uh, uh, you can select some more field, or you can cancel out the field. Uh, it may it dip, or totally depends on you what you will select. So it will be in a sheet form, and the brand is every letter size. You can see the type is user. I have selected user. You can select anything else, whatever you wish. There is a wide variety of options now we will click on the format it will show you the brand every letter size how it will look like then is the option i want it on the entire page so i have selected entire page and now synchronize content it is a very important function uh, synchronize content is, uh, content is when uh, you want to change the setting of one label like the font color font size uh, some font uh, text how it will look like so you can uh, directly select one label and change it and uh, the when you will click on the synchronized written content the, all the labels will be formatted according to the first one that you changed now we will click on the new document and it will open a table like this you can see all the labels are here now we will I will show you synchronized label. We will select one label. And 
I will change its font. You can take any font, uh, font as you wish. I have taken this. Now I have taken this and you can see it has changed. Now I will click on synchronize that and all will be changed. You can see all the labels are changed. Now we will press Ctrl plus B and click on yes. Since I don't have a printer connected to my laptop, uh, the printer option is not visible. It is the mail merge in open office. You can select any of the uh, row or column you want. Uh, since I want all the three columns, I will select all the three. Here you can see the records. I have selected all. And then we will go on OK. You will be able to see the print layout. Now we'll click on print. I'll save this with the name label and press enter. The page is saved. You can see it is saved on my laptop. Now I will open it. See. You can see all the labels. They are not very visible because of the font I selected. You may select as you wish. It was just an example for you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.